The southernmost realm of Texas, tucked along the Rio Grande bordering Mexico and known as the Rio Grande Valley, is one of the most biologically diverse regions in the United States. It is home to 700-plus vertebrate creatures, including 521 species of birds and 330 kinds of butterflies and counting. One of the primary reasons for this remarkable diversity is the astonishing 1,200 types of plants native to this area. Long before the first Englishman walked ashore at Jamestown and Plymouth, Spaniards roamed the lower reaches of the Rio Grande, and before them, native tribes called the area home. In order to survive in this wild land, the indigenous people and early settlers developed an extensive knowledge of the food and medicinal value of native plants. They learned to make strong rope from the fibers of the yucca or Spanish dagger. They savored the sweet fruit or tunas of the prickly pear cactus. They discovered herbal remedies from cenizo or purple sage and many other native plants. This vast array of knowledge gleaned from centuries of observing wildlife and living off the land is in danger of being lost forever, as native habitat is destroyed at an alarming rate. Indeed, more than 95% of the native wildlands in the Rio Grande Valley have been cleared for agriculture and urban development. Naturalist Benito Trevino, who was raised in the Chaparral of Deep South Texas, cherishes this venerable but vanishing lore, and he has made it his life mission to preserve this unique natural and cultural heritage. As a child, he learned of necessity from his parents and grandparents which plants were edible and which possessed important medicinal uses. As a young man, he studied chemistry and began to understand the properties that made these plants so nutritious and curative. As a nurseryman, Torino has grown nearly a million native plants for revegetation and pioneered new methods of propagation. Benito Trevino and his wife, Tony, live on their ranch, Las Lomitas, west of Rio Grande City, and together they grow and study native plants, where they continue to discover secrets of the chaparral.